Have you ever wondered how Disney creates their incredibly realistic hair in the movies over the last 10 years? This is going to be a deep dive into the digital realm of 3D hair animation and the design by Disney and other similar animation studios. I'm going to show you what it takes for the studios such as Disney to create realistic 3D hair that obeys the basic laws of physics, how they overcome roadblocks regarding the hair, and the software that they use to create and simulate it. Walt Disney Studios character hair designs have definitely come lengths since the 1930s, beginning with Snow White in 1937, all the way through to Disney's Encanto in 2021. Disney has been faced with countless amounts of roadblocks and issues when creating the stunning realistic fairy tale hair that you see on the screens today, preventing the design, the animation and overall production of some of their movies, sometimes causing them to meet deadlines by just the skin of their teeth. If you dive in and have a look at the creation of Disney's Rapunzel, you'll catch a glimpse of just how complex and technical things can actually be. To make Rapunzel's CG animated locks look as appealing as they did in the 2D version, the film's creator started with a hair bible, which was created by artist Glenn Keane, who is responsible for some of the biggest hair hits of Disney's 2D past. Being Disney's first 3D animated princess movie, this is not surprising. That's a lot of hair. She's growing it out. First up is a piece of software called iGroom. Disney created a hair tool called iGroom to help solve issues that they were having with Rapunzel's hair in Disney's Tangled made in 2010 and for the movie Bolt, which worked well with characters with short hair. Rapunzel's impressive head of hair would be incredibly heavy in the real world. With this in mind, the laws of physics had to be broken. iGroom was used in the movie Zootopia, a film based in a fictional world where animals replace humans. iGroom helps Zootopia's characters achieve beautifully groomed and realistic fur with Judy Hopps, the rabbit lead character, having roughly 2.5 million individual strands of hair, and the giraffe with 4 million individual strands. You'll also be surprised to hear that the film's smallest rodents feature more hairs than the entire cast of Frozen. iGroom wasn't possible as recently as 2008. It truly is amazing how far technology has come in this new digital world of 3D animation and design. I mean, could you just imagine making 4 million strands of hair on a piece of clay for stop motion animation? The software allows the artist to brush the direction of the fur, increase the denseness and even add curves. It also allows the artist to quickly swap coats of fur or grooms between characters. Next up, Tonic. Frozen had its fair share of complication in regards to hair especially with Elsa's plaited hairstyle which contained 400,000 individual strands of hair, far greater than Rapunzel's whopping hair count of 147,000 strands. Tonic, a volume-based tool which allows artists to group hairs on characters' heads and manipulate them together to create your desired look. By bulking out with tubes and using simple shapes to start with, you can then subdivide and create finer details. Tonic was originally created for the Disney hit Frozen, but has been used in other movies since. Frozen had 312 different characters, 245 cloth rigs, and 63 different hairstyles, which was far more than any other animation that they have ever produced. However, in the movie Encanto, Disney used the entire range of hair textures from 1A to 4C. Abuela's 1A hair, Mirabelle's type 3 curly hair, and Felix's 4C curls. Encanto was the first animated movie to include every single hair texture in the entire book. Tonic allowed artists to create complex hairstyles within just a few days, when before, the process would have taken several weeks to complete. This sped up production incredibly, and Tonic quickly became one of Disney's superpowers in the digital toolbox of super tools and software. Even though Disney has an impressive arsenal of grooming software and tools to help create their beautiful stylized characters' hairstyles, this also needs to look good when in motion. So this is where simulators come in. Fitted with well put together algorithms, Disney's hair simulation systems replicate real life physics while also fitting in with the fictional wells of the characters. For example, Pixar used a bending spring formulation created for Mirada's hair from the Pixar movie Brave by using discrete elastic rods. As seen on the left, the strand of curly hair known as the core spring moves in a smooth bouncing motion. However, on the right, the curly strand of hair moves with a slight rotation as you can see by the bottom of the strand of hair. The core springs add realism to the hair by simulating physics. You can see the effect by these three examples on the screen now. The model of Merida on the left has no core springs, unlike the model of her on the right, who is equipped with them. And when acceleration is applied, the unraveling effect becomes much more apparent as seen here. But with the springs, her hair maintains its shape and acts just how the animators intended. Another piece of simulation software is called Quicksilver. 
Disney created a piece of software known as Quicksilver where controls are combined for easier grooming and rigging controls, giving hair that Disney choreograph look and making it more expressive. Quicksilver was put into action in the movie Moana, simulating believable locks of hair that respond to the elements and movements around it. While creating Frozen 2, Disney used a hair simulation software called Beast. Beast allowed artists to simulate a larger amount of hairs per frame much faster than Quicksilver. With the individual hair count of Frozen's characters, Beast made it easier for the team at Disney to animate and maintain the character's hair. The list of software and systems created by Disney seems to be growing after every major movie that they create. Names of some other helpful tools used by Disney that I haven't included are XGen, Hyporion Engine used for rendering, Splash for Water, Matterhorn and Swoop. These are other pieces of software that Disney use for the creation within their films to add realism to the characters and give it that cinematic look. Without all of these genius pieces of software and tools, Disney's digitally animated movies would simply not be possible. With years of evolution and trial and error, Disney's digital toolkit has come a very, very long way. From the early years of Disney with Snow White in 1937, to Disney's 2010 Tangled, all the way to Encanto created in 2021, the jump from Disney's analog movie era to the digital era of animation is quite apparent. Being more visually appealing and almost without any boundaries, Disney's digital hair and character design has become vastly more superior and enjoyable than the older designs created in Disney's analog days. I think it's safe to say that Disney won't be looking back and will continue to strive forward and tackle the digital realm of animation and character design. Thank you for watching.